the Grammy Awards and, and the Recording Academy, they benefited from the popularity of the Nigerians that were nominated, um, David O and Burner Boy, especially the last one week with what David O did for the Grammys and all those interviews and promo, they used him for marketing uh, purposes and uh, knowing fully well that as, as they do it, they are, after they've completely used and dumped him. Um, I was just about to post to say, this is over to the Eddies now. Listen, African artists, Afrobeats artists, y'all need to withdraw yourselves from, from, from submitting your music to the Grammys. That's all I'm going to say. Shout out to Tyler. Let's, let's, let's talk about Tyler. I said it, that if Tyler or Ira Star wins, especially Tyler, who in August was performing water in Germany where nobody was moving, and by September, water had become everybody's song from their grandmamas to their babies, has become the shortest hit record in Afro-pop culture history to not only sweep the entire world, but pick up the biggest gong that represents music globally. So at 22 years old, a young, gifted talent such as Tyler deserves a huge pat on the back. Her team deserves a huge round of applause. You know, um, the record label definitely worked that hard and they made sure that Tyler uh, was going to pick up an award in a cat. Ira Star Monster. You know, like she she swam with sharks. And she definitely, definitely deserves all the kudos. But it takes nothing, it, it takes nothing away from us by saying that I believe that the Grammy Awards um they used David O um to market their platform. They they used that man um very very well however burner boy davido <laughs> their greatness it's funny that tyler wins the grammy award for water they're playing water of fella and ikula pokuti whilst tyler was walking was that a mistake was that that shows that they have no clue grammy has no clue about the award that they were given. They they awarded the best uh, African performance to Tyler Water. The band is playing Felani Kula Pokuti Water. Whilst somebody that had a different water was walking on the stage. If you want to know about an organization that has no clue, the Grammy has no clue. None. None. It has to do with us. They have no clue. They know nothing about our culture. And there's no... We shouldn't be wasting our energy there. Let's, this week was about us coming to America, really putting our flags down, you know, building our bridges with our African-American brothers and sisters, expanding our coast beyond Africa, the continent, and embracing our brothers and sisters here in America. TZ, I'm telling you. Tyler, water, an award. They're playing Fela Anikula Pokuti water in the background. Is that an organization that understands us? They don't care about us, man. They just want to use us for promotions. One billion people in Africa, they want us to continue to serve the Grammys. I tell you that for real. We're not messing with that. I don't, like, for me, I've got no, I don't want nobody to come speak to me about no Grammys, man. And that's what I'm telling you for a fact. They used, they, they used, you know, David heavily to promote their platform. They relied hugely on the, the incredible numbers and, you know, and audience and eyes that Nigeria brings and Africa brings, you know. And they used the artists. They announced one of the greatest musicians of our time, Burner Boy, to be performing at the Grammys, which got us all excited. They nominated Burner Boy four times. They nominated David O three times. They, you know, but they knew they were not going to, you know, they were not going to treat them right. They were not going to, come on, man. 
How can you give Tyler water and be playing fella and Nikula Pokuti water in the background? And they've been planning for that for some time. So they had no idea which water was which. It's crazy. Nah, man. Headies, it's over to you. Are you animal shout? Let's book Chris Brown. Let's book Burner Boy. Let's book David O. Let's bring our African American brothers and sisters. Let's go to Atlanta. Let's build the bridge. Let's bring somebody from the Caribbean, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Marshall Montano. Let's do something epic.